Hi guys, Latecom here and we are back with yet another episode of the Road to 40,000 Power Rank and Beyond, with this being episode 5 of the series. Now, I was really really shocked when we actually hit 200 likes on the previous video in such a short time span because I was honestly not even expecting the video to come close to 200 likes at all. In today's episode, we're going to be trying our best to farm to 30,000 power rank and 6,000 light in order to get into Uber 11 worlds. So right off the bat, let's first talk about the things that I've been farming off camera since the previous episode because as you may have noticed, I'm currently at 27,331 PR at 25 Paragon level. So we're going to talk about what I've changed. As you can see, we have got magic damage at 119. So I have successfully gotten rid of all of the arcane gems and magic damage on all of my gems, which is crazy good. Other than that, I basically had to max out my crystal 2 gear, as you can see on my hat and face, which gave me around 700 PR right there, as well as obtain a crystal 3 bow, as you can see, which grants me around 80 PR if I'm not mistaken. And we did get a brand new tempered tendril torch in which is going to be obtainable from killing uber 10 leviathans and crafting one of the weekly torches inside the crystal forge in the geode topside world. So that made us go from 75 to 300 power rank on our banner right here. And not to mention, I did also get a crystal three ring box and got a crystal three ring from it. So that's going to be it for the gears that we have gotten upgraded since the previous episode. Now let's talk about some of our gems that we've got right here. So I'm still sitting on the really trash Bok Bomb and the really trash Berserk Battler right here, which are still going to be at two stars, but I did level all of my cosmic gems to level 25, which is really, really good because now I don't really have to worry about cosmic gem dust. So for the other gems, we have gotten level 25, level 24, level 26. So we're basically getting really, really close to maxing out all of our gems at level 25. So I believe that should be putting us close to around 28,000 PR once we've gotten all of these gems to level 25. Also, not to mention, I did buy a crystal gem converter in the store with 15,000 cubits. As you can see right here, we are still trying to stack up as many cubits as we can to buy as many crystal gem converters to convert a couple of our gems. So my plan right now is just to try my best to reach 6,000 light and 30,000 power rank. And for that to happen, I'm going to farm my crystal four weapon and max it at five stars. So that will require a total of 1,000 crystalline cores in which right now I'm still sitting at 337 cores. I've gotten all of these cores simply just by leeching off of players in the Uber 10 top side and just going for five star dungeons only in the top side. The main problem might be getting the permanent torch because I am now currently sitting at like 30, yeah, 35 Leviathan slain. So I will have to get to 250 Leviathans to guarantee a permanent torch. On the topic of badges, I had to get the consecutive and the bronze total login days badge because I've been playing for a total of seven full days with a slash played of, as of right now, around 27 hours. So what I'm going to farm right now is I'm going to be farming some Ifera under Lord of the Deep Delves. So what this is going to achieve is I'm going to basically be able to farm my permanent torch as well as try my best to get some of these crystal gears because I'm going to open this portal at a depth of 115 and above as well as increase my paragon level to get even more flux so that I can afford even more expensive items. Maybe I might be able to get some crystal four ring boxes, who knows. Speaking of augmenting gems, as you can see in the bomber bench, we have got some bound brilliance and some builder superior focuses that we can craft every single week. So they're gonna cost 30 bomber real coins each which will total up to 60 coins. And that's not gonna be too much of a problem for the amount of stuff that we're getting. So we're getting 10 Bound Brilliance and three Builder Superior Focuses every week. That is probably going to be close to 50 power rank every single week just by getting these items. The way I farm these coins is I pick the Earn a Bomberial Coin quest. I head on over into Bomberial. I get first place, I get the first kill, and that's 13 fragments in one single match every day. So with that being said, it's only going to take me like five days of farming to get all of these items. And it's only going to take like two to three minutes of bomber, actual Bomber Royale gameplay. 
So I ended up getting my Uber 10 permanent torch inside the Uber 10 top side rather than in the Dells because what I was doing was I was joining on players that were farming Uber 10 top side worlds for Leviathans as well as joining in the Delves in order to make my farm as efficient as possible. So as you can see right here, I am currently sitting at 102 Leviathan slain over the past couple of days. And I also had to get a couple of these badges as well as the private Delve Platinum Badge. Yes, I've been farming the Delves a lot. As you can see, 300 out of 250 private Delves completed. But the grind was truly worth it because we finally got our Enshadow Tendril Torch. Not to mention, I did also get my Crystal 4 Bow as well as a Crystal 4 Hat as you can see right here. Now you might be wondering, what is this Uber 11 gem box doing in my inventory because I'm only at 27.5k PR? Well, surprise surprise because Uber 11 gem boxes can actually drop from the delves in depths of I believe 125 or deeper. I'm not really too sure which exact depth it starts dropping Uber 11 boxes rarely. But yes, there is a chance at getting Uber 11 gem boxes somehow in the delves in Uber 10 delves ironically. So once we've gotten our permanent torch, what we have to do right now is to craft an Enshadow Torch mod in which we can take a look right here. There are going to be a ton of torches. Now for magic damage classes, I would usually pick the movement speed and magic damage radiant banner. But since we're using the Boomer Ranger, we're going to have to go for the Knotted Shadow banner, which will grant us movement speed and physical damage together. So let's go on ahead and craft this Enshadow Torch mod as we will be able to receive 350 PR instead of the 275 from the raw permanent torch. Okay, so it's been a while, but I finally managed to get my full set of Crystal 4 gears, as you can see right here. And it only took me around, I believe, 400 delves, as we will be able to check out right here. A total of 413 private delves. So it's going to add up around 150 shadowy vaults, which was really, really lucky because I did not actually get any duplicate gears while I was trying to farm for these, which goes to show how lucky we are on this account as of right now. The question is, do I actually want to use this instead of this Crystal Clash Gem? The answer is simple. Yes, get out of my face. So I'm going to equip this instead of the other one. And since I'm pretty sure my RNG is just going to be very, very trash, I am probably going to try to get the gem upgraded with the Crystal Gem Converter. I am really, really not sure whether I should upgrade this gem into Crystal. With that being said, let me just go on ahead and tear up this explosive epilogue gem and we're going to be able to put it at 2364 PR and we're going to be sitting at 27,811. So what else I'm going to do is I'm going to be upgrading my weapon once again because I think I have gotten enough cores for this right now. So let's just level this up and that's going to put me at 27,889 PR. Okay guys, so just a little bit of a status update. As you can see right here, we're sitting at 28.5k PR. And I would just like to declare that right now we are soft locked behind 30,000 PR. And what I mean by that is that we are currently time gated as well as RNG gated from hitting 30k. I've been converting all my Balm Brilliance into Builder's Precise Focus and I've been upgrading each and every one of these stats until a really, really high percentage. And for all the other gems, as you can see, we are currently sitting at like 1650, 1660 for all the lesser ones, except for a couple at 1600. But the thing is, I don't really want to farm like 1670 PRs for these Fierce Water and Fierce Air gems because we're going to have to replace them when we reach Uber 10 anyways. So the other thing that was really, really stopping me from breaking past like 29k and whatnot is this 2-star Berserk Battler. If it were to be at 3-star, we would have gotten at least 300 to 350 more PR from this gem alone. Not to mention our garbage RNG that has not allowed us to obtain a Primordial Dragon just yet, in which will hamper us from progressing, as you can see right here. Primordial Dragons are going to give me 530 PR each. So my last resort right now is to wait for my Crystal Gem Converter so that I can convert this Murd Mojo and wait for probably another couple of days for more Empowered Gem Boxes later on. 
to get a better Berserk Battler or whatever Cosmic 3 star gem that we can get. And not to mention the Bog Bomb that I did replace. I think I do regret it as of right now because we have no possible way to actually get this Bog Bomb higher in terms of PR. And the earlier one had around 2190, so that did put us back by around 100 PR or 121 PR, whatever. So let's just go on ahead and open this up as we're going to head on over into the store and get a brand new crystal gem converter for 15,000 cubits. Now initially, I really wanted to upgrade the stellar cosmic gem, but the problem is this is going to be two stars. So we're not going to be able to use our crystal gem converter on this gem just because it's going to be just way too trash. So we're just going to have to resort to upgrading this Merd Mojo to Crystal. So with that being said, let's go on ahead and upgrade this and it's going to jump all the way up to 2400 PR, bringing us to 29,252 PR altogether. Okay, um, another box, another empowered gem box. Please, please, for the love of God, give me a three star stellar. Three two, one, yes, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go guys, let's go, finally, finally, I am finally able to get some decent PR, let's get it, 2049, let's unsocket this, and socket on this Vampirian Vanquisher, not really what we needed, but just enough to get us to 6,000 light, 29,653 PR. Okay, so it's a brand new day. As you can see, we are currently on Dragon Day. And this week, supposedly, Corruption is going to be the one in. And we're going to be buying some Bound Brilliance. So with that being said, I'm going to go on ahead and buy 10 Bound Brilliance. And we're going to spend them on the precise focuses. Okay, so as you can see, we are currently sitting at 29,986 PR, which is just 14 PR shy of hitting 30,000. Now, what I've been doing is I've basically been upgrading my Crystal 4 weapon as well as got my Crystal Face to 3 star. And with that being said, I've also managed to get quite a number of better gems such as this 1700 Fierce Fire gem and 1681 on this one as well. And I also managed to kind of just replace the earlier Fierce Gem with this Arcane Cosmic Gem, which gave me another 60 PR as well. Not to mention a little bit of upgrades on the Merd Mojo and the Explosive Epilogue. Yes, I did upgrade the Explosive Epilogue once and once for the Merd Mojo as well. Now, with that being said, as you can see, my Fierce Air Gems are kind of trash. And what I did was I basically got an Arcane Air Gem with 1287 PR. Looks like we're going to go all the way and yes, 1677 PR in which once we socket this, we will finally be able to hit 30,000 PR. My goodness, the grind was hella long, but we are now officially 30,000 power rank with a total mastery rank of 26. And not to mention, we have obtained zero dragons. That's right, we managed to hit 30,000 PR with zero dragons, with no subclass, and basically not even a full Crystal 4 set, and not even a Crystal 4 ring. So it did actually take us a long ass time, but we're finally able to enter into Uber 11, which means we can actually start farming Crystal Gems. Now, you might be able to hear from my voice, I'm literally so tired. Yesterday, I farmed so much cores just to upgrade my bow to 5 stars and to upgrade this face to 3 stars. Took around 450 cores in and in itself. So, I'm very, very much jaded as of right now. So, I don't think I will be posting the next episode anytime soon. I've got to work on my studies. I've got a lot to catch up on. I've got a lot of things to work on as well other than just gaming. So we're going to be stopping here in today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys sometime soon. As usual, peace out.